The Broadway Pier on San Diego Bay just got a $28 million facelift. Shortly after, Carnival Cruise Lines announced its San Diego Bay ship, The Spirit, would be leaving for good next year. Tom Fudge has covered this story in the news and on his blog, On Ramp. Thanks for being here, Tom. And the question that's on all of our minds is basically what's behind this exodus? Well, the exodus is part of a larger exodus that is really affecting the entire cruise business, not just in San Diego. But Southern California in general. Uh, last year, San Diego lost its other carnival cruise ship, which is called the Elation, and early next year they're going to lose the Spirit. Uh, in terms of cruise business, number of port calls, number of passengers, last year uh, San Diego saw a third of its cruise business leave it lost a third of its business and this and this year they're expecting to lose another half of their business now in los angeles it's bad too uh, just about a week ago they lost their only year-round cruise ship that was based at the port of los angeles and in in la i can tell you that uh, in 2005 they had 2.5 million cruise passengers leaving out of that port and this year they're expecting only about 600,000 what is the reason for the departure? Are we looking at, is it, is it the violence in Mexico? Is it something else, a combination of two? Well, it, it's a combination of things, of course. Part of it is the economy. The California economy is, in a, is still in the doldrums, and they've seen the result of that. They don't, Californians don't have enough, uh, as much money to go cruising, and it is very much a local market. The people who leave from local ports are Californians generally. But also, and even more than that, it's Mexico. There are a lot of concerns about the violence in Mexico, the drug violence. Um, a lot of people, and, and Mexico is kind of the, the cruise product for Southern California. If you take a cruise from L.A. or San Diego, generally you take a cruise to Mexico, the ports there. And as a matter of fact, one of those ports, Mazatlan, which has been a very popular port for cruises, has become so dangerous in the eyes of travelers that Disney Cruise Lines and, I believe, Holland America have refused to stop there. They say we're not going to stop in Mazatlan because uh, cruise passengers have been mugged there, they've been robbed, and it really is a very a somewhat dangerous situation. And there's a board, boredom factor, too. You and I were talking about this. There is a boredom factor. I talked with a local travel writer who also has done quite a few cruises, and she really enjoys cru cruising. But she said to me, you know, I've, I've cruised out of San Diego a lot, and I've cruised the Mexican, what they call the Mexican Riviera, four times. Now, do I want to do it a fifth time? Well, I don't think so, because it's the same ports, you're kind of seeing the same stuff, and so once you've done it, um, you may not want to do it again. may not want to do it again. What about the impact of these ships leaving? How does this affect the San Diego economy? It has, according to the Port of San Diego, it really has a very big effect. Um, each port call, they say, brings about $2 million in economic impact to the local economy. Now, if you look at this fiscal year when they're expecting about 125 port calls, that adds up to uh, 254 254 million dollars. That's a big impact on the local economy. And uh, so if the cruise business goes downhill, that's what you're missing. Absolutely is a big impact here. Thank you, Tom, for joining us on that and explaining that a little bit more.